we recently visited Columba Park in Nottinghamshire and it was so fantastic that I can't wait to show you around a little bit. It's free to park but you do have to pay to get in unless you're a member or a child under five. Columba Park is very big and so it's very handy that they have maps dotted around so you can find exactly what you're looking for. And depending on the amount of time that you have to visit, the website offers a bit of help with manageable suggestions of how you may want to spend your time at Clumber Park. We took a walk to the laundry yard to have a look at what was there. There was a shop with gorgeous giftware inside. And outside there were lots of plants for sale. Just before you go through to the turning yard, on the left you can find the Discovery Centre, which is amazing for families. Inside you can find out about the nature that inhabits Clumber Park. They have activity books which look very informative and great for encouraging children to learn about trees and nature. There is also a crafting area upstairs and a tank showing us what creatures may be found in Clumber Lake. We walked into another room and they had a model of Clumber House before it was sadly demolished in 1938. Next to that room we found the second hand bookshop where you can buy a book for a bargain price and all of the money raised goes towards conservation work at Clumber Park. We then took a walk out into the turning yard. There are plenty of signs around to help you find your way. This is the cafe, which we will be popping into a bit later. We then took a walk towards the lake. You can just about see the chapel here and that is the front of the cafe just there. Here's a better shot of the chapel. It was completed in 1889 and has a beautiful gothic style. The lake is just absolutely amazing and is home to plenty of swans, geese, ducks and other aquatic birds. We took a walk along the lakeside and it was incredible. Depending on how much time you have, you can walk around the whole lake. Or, if you fancied, you could ride a bike around the beautiful lakeside and woodland areas.
we started around here and walked up to Ash Tree Hill Wood. Then carried on with the lakeside walk before crossing a little bridge which took us close to Hardwick Village. Unfortunately the sun was going to set soon so we couldn't complete the whole walk but I was very excited to try and find the walled kitchen garden. Along our way we found Central Bark which is a dog friendly cafe. And we also found the cricket pitch with a thatched roof pavilion. We found the walled kitchen garden and what a grand entrance! it was in January so there wasn't too much to see but imagine this garden in spring or summer I bet it is fantastic there were beehives to help pollinate the plants and a lot of the produce from the garden is used in the dishes at the garden tea house and cafe all year round What an incredible, incredible greenhouse. It just keeps going. purchase some seeds collected from the garden. If you are hoping to take a peek inside the chapel, there is a deep clean taking place until the 18th of March 2022, so it is unfortunately closed until then. However, it is incredible to even just take a walk around the outside, admiring the architecture and stained glass windows. We took a walk back to the cafe as it had got a bit chilly. They had lots of different drink options available, hot, cold and alcoholic. I was very tempted by the apple juices, but I went for an Earl Grey to warm me up. We also got a cheese scone and a chocolate brownie from their delicious baked goods selection. We managed to get a seat with a view of the lake. And everything was delicious. If you are in the mood for something a bit more substantial, they have a very tempting menu too. Finally, I wanted to head back into the shop, as do you remember those beehives I mentioned earlier in the walled garden? Well, you can buy their honey! Oh, and on the packaging is the ornamental bridge that I hope to show you another time. Well, thank you so so much for joining us today. Let me know if you've been before yourselves. This was my first time and I was very impressed. <laughs> I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching. Goodbye!